when I met my husband back in 1992. I told him that I was going to live in Australia. And it took us until 2007 before I convinced him to get out here. The day that changed my life was November the 6th, 2010. I accepted free tickets to the Brisbane Food and Wine Festival with a good girlfriend at the time. Went through and did all the wines, the reds, the whites, the rosés, the sparkling, the martinis at the end. And I don't remember anything after that. I don't remember getting home, taking myself to my neighbours and being kicked out and being brought back home. I decided that I was going to get back up and go back to the neighbour's place. And instead of going out the front door like a regular person, I decided I'd sneak round the back like a naughty little kid and climb the fence. And that was as far as I got, the garden fence. Tried climbing that and fell off the other side. No, I don't think I have forgiven myself. I don't think I ever will. I'd spent since I was 15 to mid thirties wanting to come to Australia and then spent three years living the life before three hours of drink wrecked it. The things I miss most from before the accident is family time. You know, being able to hug the family I loved going to the beach with the kids and you go from being in the beach in the water with them to not even being able to get on the sand. When you look there's nowhere to point a finger of guilt except at myself. So all the choices I made that day that led to it were my choices. It was my decision to move the family to the other side of the world. It was my decision to go out and drink. So therefore, it's my responsibility to put on a brave face and keep the family together. Being part of the trial is such a privilege to be able to get on, to be able to go to the gym five days a week. Going and doing the exercise every day meant I'd gone from feeling like a floppy rag doll to where I can hold my posture. Watching mum do the clinical trial has been absolutely fantastic. She's gained more confidence, but seeing her be so much more confident in her own body and the capabilities that she has and getting stronger, I'm being so proud of herself for it too. It's exciting to watch. And knowing that she has so many more adventures she can now do because of things like that, you know, having more strength to be able to do something as simple as horse riding for someone like me. Although the gains are small on the grand perspective, for myself, for my strength, for my routines, they're massive. It really does give you hope there is a future for a cure for spinal injuries. If I was able to move my arm and feed myself or just wipe an itch on the face, that would be such a big relief because uh, you can't expect to go from not walking to walking straight away. But, you know, if we could get it that far, that would be awesome. But even a hand movement or an arm movement would be a massive difference.